you tired of the gloomy weather just yet? This is only the first day of it. We've got many more days like this coming up. Welcome back to Weather for Weather Geeks, everyone. It's Tuesday evening. I'm Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here at uh, 21 WFMJ in Youngstown, Ohio, one of the cloudier places in the lower 48 states in the winter season, and we're living up to that reputation, certainly as we go through this early December week. Uh, Ralph on Twitter asked this afternoon, when's the last time we had a, cl- a, s- a stretch this long where it was pretty cloudy? And, and I didn't go deep into the record books, but I looked at the last couple of years, and I looked at the winter months, of course, because that is our cloudiest time of the year. And the closest I could find was January of 2021. The start of last year was very cloudy. All the gray here, cloud cover. The blue is where we had clear skies. So the dates are down here, and so basically from the 1st through the 9th, very little in the way of clear skies. A little bit, but not much. Uh, this stretch will kind of, I think, rival that stretch of uh, eight or nine days in early January. I think we're going to go a good week without seeing much sunshine around here. Maybe even a little longer than that, depending on how things play out with a midweek front next week. All right, it's been dark all day, but it officially got dark. The sun went down this evening at 4.53 from yesterday through Saturday. We're in that stretch of our earliest sunsets of the year, 4.53 p.m., officially when the sun sets in Youngstown. Depending on where you live, it could be 30 seconds or even up to a minute different than that. But at uh, Youngstown, 4.53 p.m. Now, we have 9 hours, 21 minutes of daylight today. We have 8 more minutes to lose before the solstice on the 21st when we go down to 9 hours, 13 minutes, and then starting on December 22nd, we gain less than a second worth of daylight on the 22nd, and then, of course, that number starts to increase as we go through the rest of December and into the new year. It's been a gloomy day, but, of course, rainfall amounts have been pretty light. A uh, tenth of an inch down in southeastern Columbia in a county closer to East Liverpool, but generally a couple of hundreds. That's been about it across most of our viewing area. We'll add a little bit more to these uh, totals later on tonight. Now, when I'm recording this video, it's 7.20, kind of a damp scene along 224 and Market Street. Here in Boardman, the visibility doesn't look bad here, but the visibility is a little bit lower in other places, and fog is going to be something that we'll be contending with here and there as we head through the overnight into first thing tomorrow morning. We've gotten some uh, damp weather over the last few hours, so late afternoon, early evening. We're actually in a little bit of a break right now, some drizzle, but nothing all that organized. We're going to await this batch of showers and light rain down here. This is what's going to push in as we go uh, into the overnight hours giving us a little bit more in the way of steady rain later on tonight. But again, the visibility can be local, locally uh, reduced. Something to keep in mind if you're going to be out and about tonight and into tomorrow morning. Some reductions in visibility. Uh, when we don't have fog, we'll just have clouds and a little bit of light rain into tomorrow morning. Iris Future Cash shows the timing on that next band of semi-organized rain coming through overnight 2, 3, 4 in the morning. And by 5, 6 o'clock, a lot of us getting up to go to work and school. It's going to be kind of like this morning. Not very nice outside. Kind of damp and gloomy and maybe even a little bit foggy as well. Once we ditch the raindrops tomorrow morning, the rest of our Wednesday pretty uneventful. I can't rule out maybe just a little fine mist in the afternoon. Don't think it'll be much. Just pretty cloudy and uh, kind of tranquil otherwise. Not that cold. Still well up into the 40s. Cool front comes through with a little fanfare then tomorrow night into Thursday. Really no cool air with this front. A little bit of a wind shift. That's about it. Uh, we might see some sunny breaks here and there on Thursday. I think I'm a little bit more optimistic now that Thursday well, it's not going to be a bright and sunny day. Thursday might bring us a few more peaks of sun, intervals of sun, than the rest of uh, our uh, forecast uh, for midweek and heading into the upcoming weekend. And yeah, clouds are going to thicken back up Thursday night into Friday. I don't think much rain occurs during the daylight hours Friday, late in the afternoon, and especially into the evening and overnight. I do think we get some uh, wet weather. It does look like at this point this snow is probably going to miss us to the north, closer to I-90 and maybe even a little bit north of there up towards the Lake Erie into western New York. If you're looking for snow, this is not your pattern. Here's a look at some of our models over the next seven days. Basically, a goose egg. Um, This is a gloomy, lousy, crummy pattern, but it is not a snowy pattern for the time being. But look at this map. We talked some about the longer range last evening. We'll continue talking about this as we get a little bit closer. Now, the the modeling for early December has not been great. Uh, we, We talked up a cold December really a few weeks ago, and even with our winter forecast, we talked about a cold December, and I do think cold is coming. It's just been delayed. Uh, The first half of December is not turning out to be as cold as it looked like it would be uh, a few weeks ago. And will the map end up verifying this uh, map from the basically the 18th through Christmas Eve? Uh, 
I wouldn't bet against it. Maybe it's not as cold as shown here. Uh, this is the CFS, the Climate Forecast System, uh, version of events for this uh, pre-Christmas period. Um, the models have advertised cold in the longer range, only to have it kind of be wiped away as we get a little bit closer. But uh, we've got really good model agreement right now that it, uh, you know, the cold's going to come. Uh, if if it busts, every model's going to bust because every model is, you know, basically showing this pattern change in the lead up to Christmas and probably in between Christmas and New Year's as well. So the cold's coming. It'll probably come with some opportunities for some snow. Um, uh, it does not look to me like a particularly stormy, stormy and precipitation laden pattern uh, later this month but you know you got cold like uh, that that is shown uh, with that kind of magnitude then you're going to have more opportunities certainly than the current pattern we're in where it's simply too warm for any snow we'll talk about uh, the upcoming weekend and much more uh, coming up on wednesday's edition of weather for weather geeks and also i forgot to mention let's go back to the graphics because uh, i was going to mention or an update the uh, winter forecast next week on Thursday the 15th. This will be my last weather for weather geeks before my uh, Christmas vacation. Uh, so we're going to do a, a quick update to the winter forecast. This will not be as long and detailed as the original forecast that came out in mid-November. But we'll take a look at the numbers and see what we need to change, if anything, uh, when we do an update to the December, January, February forecast on weather for weather geeks next Thursday the 15th. In the meantime, thanks for watching tonight. I'll see you back here on Wednesday.